you think of Saturday? Um, I think I think we played well, but um, I you know, we, from the first quarter we it's still a lot to improve on, you know, offense, defense, special teams. So we just gotta you know focus on you know what we did wrong so we can get better. What about that for you? Um, I did. I think I did okay, but it's still a lot to improve on, like me and my game. So it's just worried about like the technique part of it because I know if I can, if I can get better and better technique every weekend and then in and out, then that would make me you know a more I think successful player. So you had a spot start last year, but does it feel different now that you are that guy on the edge that you will be going out and start of every game now? Does it feel differently for you? Um, no, I, to be honest, no, because this is the way I prepare. You know, I, I, I try to stay focused. Well, because like even last year, you don't know if somebody goes down and then you're up. I mean, it's really you know the next man up type at you know University of Alabama. So it's just something I feel like even as a freshman, like I try to focus on because you you really don't know what what can happen. How was communication? Um, it was it was good, man. I'm I'm, I'm definitely I'm proud of uh, the two um, inside linebackers, but you know it's still even they would say it's still you know it's it's a lot to improve on from the first game. So was it was it Lee who was kind of calling out the plays? Uh, yes, sir. You got both of those guys behind you, and then DJ Dale to your uh, left. Mm -hmm. So how much is it? Uh, you might be here, right? I don't know. How much is it? Uh, just kind of keeping them all together and, and making sure they know what they're doing. Um, to be honest, I think they, they for themselves, they want to learn. They want to, you know, them three, they're, they're smart. Um, they, they realize things very quickly. So, like, for them, it's like they, you know, kind of take care of themselves. Really, they they doing their job and stepping in and doing it to the best of their ability. So. How much do they bring a little bit, the three freshmen in the middle, bring a little bit of energy, maybe, you know, AVD or just kind of like youth to that, knowing like, I mean, do you feed off that having a guy that maybe just doesn't know what not to do, and so he just does everything he can to, to make the play? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, they're young, but they're talented. So they're talented, they're fast. Um, you know, they're smart, intelligent. So really, um, I mean, it's always to play. Yeah, it's always good to play with guys like that, man. With DJ specifically, what have you seen out of him that has enabled him to step in and start from day one? Um, even like, even though he's a freshman, he doesn't play like one. I, I think that's one the one thing like you know that stands out with him. Um, you know, he knows he knows this thing really fast. He you know he's one of those types. He's really you know smart and he catches on to things and techniques, technique wise, really really quick. So that's something. Um, that definitely I've noticed. Were there any plays that he made on Saturday that kind of caught your eye from being next one? Uh, yeah, the first one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, he's gonna be. He's a great player. So. How do you feel as a whole? Pass rush, you know, developed in the game. You know, obviously, it aided when Terrell got back in there. But just how'd that all kind of come together? And, and what's the potential that he did? Um, I think the pass rush wise, I think we did some good things, but. There's still a lot to improve on, um, you know, as a D-line, just really as a whole team, really um, we got to focus in, I think, more on our, um, you know, technique-wise so we can be more successful. That's really, I think, the goal, so. What do you know about New Mexico State? Um, great team. Um, we looked at some of their films, so, I mean, it's going to be a, a great opportunity, so. You play almost every snap in the first something that you expected or something that was communicated to y'all? Um, honestly, I, I don't really know. It's just, um, just uh, try to, every play, I just try to focus on just doing my job, doing my best at that time. I don't really, like, mentally think about it. So I just go in there and just try to, you know, really just, Play my best, I absolute best every snap. So, was your body prepared for that workload? Um, I think I think so. I think so.
seeing Quinnen's rise from you know unknown to you know third third pick in the draft. I mean, how much inspiration that does that give to a player who is getting his first chance really to kind of shine? And what what just kind of the situation you're in? Um, first first of all, like Q's a great person, great player. So you know, um, you know to learn from him last year, I learned a lot of things from him too. So it was. It was a great, you know, learning experience for me. But um, I don't, I don't really worry about that. I just, I try to worry about like every day, like the next day, mm-hmm. you know, because that's all I really got. So I just try to focus on that, focus on really just getting better for me. Mm-hmm. And then I think, you know, all the other stuff will take care of itself. Mm-hmm. Well, what's it like as a home state guy, emotionally, getting ready for this first home, home season opener? Um. It feels good, um, you know, blessed to have an opportunity to play this weekend. It's a great team in New Mexico State, so, um, you know, I'm I'm definitely um, excited and, um, to be out there and be able to play, so. Is there something specific that you've learned about Q in that year that you learned about these <coughs> years? Is there something specific that you would use to kind of help you now? Um, it was just, it's like, it was a number of things, really, whether it was technique-wise or just, you know, on the field, off the field, everything, really, to where, you know, I'm even trying to – I'm trying to apply it now, so. Just, just yeah. ask, uh, obviously, you went through a, a kind of an experience in January. Mm-hmm. What did you learn from that and, and kind of did that tell you about being out in public and oh. how you, you know, handle yeah. yourself? Yeah, it's just – it's um, – Something that I definitely learned from. I've definitely gotten better. Up. So um, it's just that's just like I compare it to kind of football too. I just just getting better every day, in and out, and um, I think everything else will take care of itself. So. Brian, what are some Thank of you, the, uh, 